This was the darkest episode yet. Let's let's just cut right to the chase and let's talk about some Nosferatu. What is up, everybody? I'm Robbie, and you found the Nerdy Nomicon, man. You found us! You found it! And if you're looking for Nosferatu, I'm here every week talking about it. So hi to everybody that's already subscribed. And if you haven't already, what are you waiting for, man? Because we're talking Nosferatu every week, we're talking film analysis, you know, at least every other week now. At least every other week, I'd love to put out more, but... So, if you want to know what kind of channel you stumbled across, again, my name is Robbie, and I am the film, television, and gaming equivalent to finding that lone pair of boxer shorts at Target amongst a sea of boxer briefs. It may not be what you want, it may not be what you're looking for, it may have the California raisins on it, they're not relevant, you really don't care, but they're boxer shorts amongst a sea of boxer briefs. And you don't want the boxer briefs that just cradle the jewels in the wrong way, you're looking for the boxer shorts. And speaking of cradling some jewels, let me give some huge love to all of my patrons over at patreon.com slash nerdynomicon. These are the pop cultists that are doing it, man. They're keeping this show alive for every single one of you guys because, you know, paying for things you get for free is a thing in 2019. But these guys here, they pledge at least $1 every single month and they get to see this episode before you do. Yeah, that's right. They get to see Sinful Analysis almost a week before anybody else just by pledging $1 per month. If you want to join their ranks, that's what you can do. Head over to patreon.com slash nerdynomicon, pledge $1, $2, $5, whatever you feel like doing because there's a lot of rewards there and uh, we're getting ready to change them up a little bit, get some cooler stuff, including merchandise. Yeah, you could have nerdynomicon on your body and I'm not just talking about a tattoo, but uh, more on that at some other time. Let's talk Nosferatu now. All right, so... A little bit of a recap. Dark episode. Very, very dark. Uh, so, Charlie Manx now know who's who Vic McQueen is. And uh, they've now spoken on the phone. And uh, things are going to get real. This is gearing up toward their first confrontation. And uh, it's, it's going to be epic. It's going to be absolutely epic. Maggie Lee definitely still... She may not be the Obi-Wan Kenobi that we want, but she's the Obi-Wan Kenobi that this show deserves right now, man. And I'm I'm loving it. Sailor J, still still rocking it, man. Um, this was a very dark, compelling, edge of your seat episode. Not in any small part due to, once again, Bing Partridge. This show has made Bing into more of a monster almost than Charlie Manx. Because Bing was always dark, he was always twisted, he was always frightening. But this show has turned him into a monster in a way that even the novel didn't really. If Oedipus Rex was a tragedy when it was written way back in ancient Greece, this show has turned it into the horror movie. Um, there is a scene here where, it's probably on screen right now, where Bing kills his father. And his father was an abusive a-hole, sure, but um, hitting him in the head with a nail gun, that is a hell of a way to go. I, I, admittedly, you know, hashtag no love for Bing's dad, but it's what happens after that that is truly dark. Because it is very obvious that his mother loves him from the bottom of her heart. And what he does to her mother um, implies, it's implied that he rapes and murders her as well. It shows that this childlike janitor that we've seen that, honestly, I kind of loved. And knowing what was going to happen to Bing, I'm like, oh, this is going to be really cool. Um, it, it is really cool, but it's much darker than I ever would have imagined that they would go with the show. Um, and I'm definitely in. And when Vic is searching for her little friend, the Shorter Way Bridge takes her, her right to Bing's house. And she doesn't want to go right out and accuse him. She's, she's convinced that the bridge made a mistake, that it was wrong. But she finds out later on, no, there was no mistake. Um, her mother dead. She D-E-D -E dead. And Vic finds her in, covered in dirt with a nail in her head. So it's obvious Vic, that uh, Bing is back up to his murderous ways. This episode was compelling in so many different ways. Uh, this, is, this is how you see a villain really turn. And 
as much as I love Zachary Quinto, and I'm really loving what they do with Charlie Manx. It's time for us. It's time for us to see some Manx action step up, because right now Bing is stealing the show. He's terrifying. He really is. That episode was really unsettling to me, and my jaw dropped when I saw the garage door go down after he grabbed the nail gun, and his mother's in that garage. It's <sighs> terrifying. But what did you guys think? Uh, I give this episode two very enthusiastic thumbs up. Fine holiday fun, you know, because Christmas land. But what did you guys think? Let me know in the comments section down below, because I'd love to start up a discussion with you guys about this. Uh, I, generally speaking, love the books far more than I love the TV shows or the movies. And I'm not going to say that, you know, I like the TV show more than this book, because I love Nosferatu. I really do. I love the novel. But this show has gone in a very different path with a lot of different things, and I am so riveted. It, it is it's really the perfect series adaptation of a phenomenal story because there's just enough there for me to love it as a fan of the book while still being very different and me not knowing which way things are going to go because we still have not met Bruce and obviously we have not we don't have Wayne so how are they going to work them into the story maybe you know flash forward a few years in season two I don't know but uh, I'm in I'm in in a big bad way AMC you need to keep this shiz up because uh, I need me more Nosferatu. And here's the thing, I can I can stream it all right now because they released the entire season. So I could go ahead and do that, but I'm not doing it. I'm, I'm, I'm taking it episode by episode for you guys out there, man. That's what I'm gonna be doing from now on. As much as I want to, I'm not gonna do it. I'm right here with you. So one more time, let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this episode. Was it as dark as I'm making it out to sound or am I a little bit crazy? If you like this episode, give me a big thumbs up. It helps the channel out more than you can even imagine. And once again, if you're not subscribed, subscribe already, man. Because we got a lot of stuff going on here. And more and more is happening all the time. And on that mercenary note, my friends, I will see you guys later. Peace.